going on, folks? This is Jacob Shoup filling in for Tom O'Brien. Let's take a look at what we got going on. First off, I hope you all had a good Easter. We were off Friday. Always love that. Uh, but it always kind of goes too soon. Let's take a look at the market today. We have the ES Mini trading uh, off about 0.24%. Uh, the Russell off about 1%. NQ basically sideways up 0.04. Dow futures also down about 0.71%. Not a lot of action going on right now. We can definitely see in the ES Mini uh, a little bit of a consolidation they have going on through here. Um, you know, there's been some conversation about a pullback. I, I know uh, Tim Ord had been speaking about that a little bit, and I, I could definitely see that, right? I mean, we've been making these extreme all time highs. Um, of course, we're having some really solid economic data to kind of justify this movement, not just promises of interest rate cuts. Uh, but of course, Powell said uh, they're looking for it. And you're even getting um, some big industry players calling uh, for a more robust uh, decrease in interest rates. So another big important thing we're looking at is gold. I mean, come on, look at this. Look at this chart. I mean, we've all been seeing, we've all been there. Listen to Tim Ward, listen to Tom O'Brien. And they've been calling this gold movement for a while. And we just had, you know, not a lot of action in it until we see this takeoff. So what's going on with gold? Okay, well, you have China doing a little bit better. And real estate is doing so poor over there uh, that you're seeing uh, consumption of gold in China go up from there. Of course, also interest rates are supposedly coming down. And there's generally an inverse relationship with that. Uh, so we're still seeing this pretty strong rally with gold of about 1.05% today. Uh, silver, too, we're up at 25.09. Uh, and then copper, luckily, we're up at uh, $4.05 on the contract. Crude oil, definitely some, this is light sweet crude futures contract. We've seen some upward movement, trading about 83.86 will remain to be seen. Um, if we're gonna continue that upward trajectory, we come back down and make a consolidation in it. Uh, of course, the bonds, uh, doing pretty stellar today as well, price-wise at least. Tesla down about 1.11%. We'll talk a little bit about Tesla in the sense of what it has coming at it. We've been speaking, well, I mean, when I was on, uh, I think last week and the time before, uh, I was talking about how Musk was saying that the Chinese pose quite a significant threat to American and, and really Western uh, EV makers. And it's because they're able to just produce these cars at... Uh, Cheaper cost, right? And uh, I mean, really, that's that's the major thing, right? They can just produce these cars for cheaper. Therefore, the sell point's cheaper. We'll take a little bit of a look at Xiaomi. Um, you know, and, and again, I would say too, for a lot of these Western companies, China is such a major, such a major market, right? I mean, we were talking about this with Nike, okay? Uh, Nike's sales in Asia and, you know, really predominantly China have come down. And I think what we're kind of seeing with that is more of a national development in China with the younger generation who, who kind of want these more Chinese goods that want to set themselves apart um, from the more international kind of culture that we see. Uh, anyways, Xiaomi, this is a massive EV company in China, um, just pumping out some of their new EVs, something called the SU7. Anyways, long story short, instant sellout with it. And those are all... Um, you know, going to take away from more base, uh, excuse me, not more base, uh, but other companies. What's interesting to note, at least about the circumstance with Xiaomi and the SU7 in particular, um, is you actually had talent from BMW and Mercedes uh, going there and working for them to develop this, which is pretty fascinating. Uh, let's see, the following, it's launched SU7 experienced an overwhelming demand with eight, 88,898 orders in the first 24 hours. Now, this is what's weird, right? So let me just pull this thing over to you. I just want you to see the vehicle. All right, this is what the thing looks like. It loads, of course, there we go. Pretty nice, right? They're selling this thing for under $30,000, and that's in China. And, I mean, just seriously think about that, right? If they're, they can produce vehicles that look, you know, quite slick like this, right, which is really what the American consumer wants when they're buying these EVs, these more kind of futuristic uh, kind of deals, they can produce it at, at something where they can have the sell point at at below 30. I mean, you know, that's going to be an issue, I think, for a lot of major car manufacturers. Uh, regardless, it'll be interesting to see kind of how that plays out going forward. 
I want to talk a little bit about gold as well before we keep going. Um, you know, I think that listening, you know, for me, myself, right, I'm a young guy, I'm 27. Gold to me, until really working for Tom, was just kind of this, you know, this is what older folks do and there's not a lot of motion in it. We all talk about crypto, but I've been completely proven wrong. The analysis that Tim and uh, Tom have on, and really particularly Tom, because he's been doing this for so long, has been invaluable to me and has really changed my, my mindset. So I'm speaking to young guys out there, right? Because I know how we get to think about stuff, um, but this is insane. And so what I want to bring up is that is the 22nd year anniversary of Tom O'Brien's The Gold Report. This is a major deal here, okay? This is 35% off the monthly price of the Gold Report for as long as you are a subscriber, okay? So that's roughly about like $71.65 off from about $119. Okay, the deal's there, right? 22 years, that should tell you something about how much Tom knows with this. But I wanna show you this here as well. If you are a subscriber to anything that we've had here, or you've purchased anything from TFNN, uh, you got an email earlier today and it was today's edition of the Gold Report, and it was released free to you entirely, right? Um, so if you haven't seen that yet and you haven't checked your email, definitely check it out, especially if you've never been in the Gold Report. But we're looking at the current portfolio we have now. We actually had a buy earlier today. I don't have included in this table, but again, if you're a subscriber to anything or you know we have your email, check it to make sure you know what we got. But look at this. I mean, these are the percent gains we're making right now, right? And this is being monitored constantly by Tom. I mean, it's insane. Um, I mean, come on, you're looking at Harmony at 70%. Anyways, the point is, we got such a good deal on it right now. Come check this out. This is 22 years in the making. Um, and uh, you're just not getting that, you're just not getting that experience anywhere, especially for the price that we have it at. Anyways, let's keep taking a look at what we're going on. Apple, they have some interesting issues regarding uh, basically demand for their phones going down. We'll talk a bit about that. And Disney, I mean, you know, this is like an Easter, <laughs> an Eastern miracle. I was so nervous for this stock and we have just seen it crawl up continually. I mean, we're trading back at 121.40. I wanna see what the all time high was, something around here, okay? 201, still quite a bit off of that, but this is positive movement for the stock that has really seen uh, some pretty bad days. Folks, stay tuned, we will be right back. Talk a little bit about crypto, maybe.